Constable. See? No, no! Oh! <laughs> Nothing beats a solid comedy series when you need something to make your heart sing and your cheeks hurt from smiling. Sure, comedies are entertaining, but there's something special about a television show. There's a little bit of everything on the list, from vintage comedy sitcoms that will transport you back in time to theme-driven dramedies that confront significant social issues via humor to the legendary comedies we all love to binge again and over again. Today, I'm going to show you the top 10 funniest TV shows of all time. Before the start of the video, make sure to leave a like, and if you want to see more content, subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Number 10. South Park. Rewards program variant. <laughs> Everyone, please! We cannot panic! South Park is a Comedy Central animated series that was conceived by Trey Parker and Matt Stone and developed by Brian Graydon. Stan Marsh, Kyle Broflovsky, Eric Cartman, and Kenny McCormick are the protagonists of the show, which follows their activities in and around the namesake Colorado town. South Park is known for its profanity and dark, surreal humor, which satirizes a wide range of themes aimed at an adult audience. Originally centering on these smart-mouth youngsters' mishaps, the program has subsequently remade itself to become the most caustic, honest, and just entertaining political and social satire on television. Week after week, this Hamlet and its broad assortment of increasingly comical personalities put America in its place. Number 9. Friends. Rachel wrote Ross a letter and demanded he read it before they got back together. How many pages was that letter? 18 pages! Friends is an American comedy developed by David Crane and Marta Kaufman that aired on NBC for 10 seasons from September 22, 1994 to May 6, 2004. The program centers around six friends in their 20s and 30s who reside in Manhattan, New York City, and features Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, Lisa Goodrow, Matt LeBlanc, Matthew Perry, and David Schwimmer in an ensemble cast. You could be forgiven for doubting the show's originality, yet Friends repackaged a basic notion into a comic smash. The characters' antics resonated with the audience on so many levels, inspiring catchphrases, haircuts, water fountain dances, and we're sure a few trips to New York. It is, nevertheless, pure comic gold at its heart, as it emphasizes bizarre events, sarcasm, inside jokes, thoughtfulness, and at times, the real affection we all feel for people we consider our closest friends. Number 8. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia to the youth. Otherwise, we are doomed to have sex with only old people. <gasps> it's Always Sunny in Philadelphia is an American comedy that first aired on FX on August 4th, 2005, and then transferred to Fox in 2013 for its ninth season. Rob McLaney and Glenn Howerton collaborated on the project. The show follows The Gang, a gang of egotistical pals who own and operate Patty's Pub in South Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The Gang, a group of five oddball buddies, is the focus of the series. The Gang owns and operates Patty's Pub, a failing Irish bar in South Philadelphia. Excessive drinking and substance usage, dishonesty, brutality, selfishness, and egotism are all attributes displayed by members of the gang. In most episodes, they plan complicated plots and often conspire against one another and others for personal gain, retribution, or simply the pleasure of seeing someone else's collapse. They inflict mental, emotional, and physical agony on each other and anybody who gets in their way on a regular basis. Number 7. I Love Lucy. The mother of my children, ladies and gentlemen. Lucille Ball. I Love Lucy was an American television comedy that ran on CBS from October 15, 1951 to May 6, 1957, covering six seasons and 180 half-hour episodes. Lucy Ricardo, Lucy Ball, was a young, middle-class housewife in New York City who frequently devised schemes with her best friends, Ethel and Fred Mertz, Vance and Frawley, to perform alongside her bandleader husband, Ricky Ricardo, Arnaz, at his nightclub. This program was great, as evidenced by five Emmy Awards, a Peabody Award, and four years as the most viewed television show in the United States. Lucille Ball blazed the door for women in comedy with her role in I Love Lucy. It was also one of the first television programs to showcase a multi-ethnic relationship, and one of the first to depict pregnancy. 
Aside from these accomplishments, the concert was also hilarious. Number 6. Faulty Towers <laughs> Faulty Towers is a British sitcom created by John Cleese and Connie Booth that aired on BBC Two from 1975 to 1979. Two six-episode series were produced. The program was voted first on the British Film Institute's list of the 100 Greatest British Television Programs in 2000, and it was crowned the greatest ever British TV sitcom in 2019. In any case, John Cleese's Basil Fawlty, the namesake hotel he runs, and the cast of staff he employs are immortalized in comedy owing to the tremendously humorous and ridiculous circumstances they were thrust into. Basil never quite manages to raise the tone of his hotel, but that's good because each difficulty generated an unlimited source of laughter for the audience. We would be in stitches if we stayed at Fawlty Towers. Number 5. The Simpsons. Dad, it's not fair to use a bug zapper to catch the fish. I think I have a nibble. The Simpsons is a Fox Broadcasting Company animated comedy developed by Matt Groening. The Simpsons family, which comprises Homer, Marge, Bart, Lisa, and Maggie, is a satirical picture of American society. The program takes place in the fictitious town of Springfield and mocks American culture and society, television, and the human condition. Every other resident of Springfield are by far some of the funniest and most recognized people ever. Not bad for a cartoon program! The Simpsons swiftly became a pop culture sensation, with people empathizing with each of the characters. Homer and Bart were the original standouts, but Springfield as a whole has subsequently made its way into our hearts, since the program employs each character, regardless of importance, to tackle every subject conceivable. Yes, Futurama is also bitingly funny, but let's be honest, if it's worth our time, The Simpsons will do it. Number 4. Monty Python's Flying Circus I think that's in very bad taste. Monty Python's Flying Circus is a British surreal sketch comedy series produced and starring Graham Chapman, John Cleese, Eric Idle, Terry Jones, Michael Palin, and Terry Gilliam, collectively known as the Pythons. The series is notable for its use of ridiculous scenarios, risque and innuendo-laden comedy, sight gags, and observational skits with no punchlines. Gilliam's cartoons were used to break up live-action sequences, frequently blending with the live-action to generate segues. Rather than the typical sketch show structure, the series' general approach mirrored and expanded on the technique established by Spike Milligan in his landmark series Q5. The Pythons, together with supporting cast members, played the majority of the series' roles. Number 3. Arrested Development Michael, Joe, Lindsay, George Michael, Lucille, Tobias Fuchs. Arrested Development is a Mitchell Hurwitz created American television comedy that aired on Fox for three seasons from 2003 to 2006, followed by a two season revival on Netflix from 2013 to 2019. The Bluths, a once rich, dysfunctional family, are the focus of the sitcom. It is presented serially using handheld camera work, voiceover narration, archive pictures, and historical video. The program has a lot of running jokes and catchphrases. From the first episode, Michael Bluth and his morally flawed, narcissistic family stretch the boundaries of television. Number 2. The Office Now, how's the handle? And it's warm. They go to the back well, door. Well, uh, another option! Another option! Jeez! Okay, settle Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant developed the mockumentary comedy The Office. Gervais also appeared as the show's boss and main character in the original British season of The Office. The two seasons, totaling 12 episodes, were shown on BBC Two in 2001 and 2002, with two special episodes in 2003 and an additional short spectacular 10 years later. The Office had us caring about what we are all laughing at, whether it was Michael's childish attempts to lead his colleagues or Jim's tormenting of Dwight by balancing riotous circumstances, a brilliant ensemble cast of characters, and stories spectators found themselves emotionally concerned in. Anyone who works in an office will tell you that this program hits close to home, since real-life copies of these people can be found in almost any cubicle. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. How I Met Your Mother Modern Family
Big Bang Theory. Number one, Seinfeld. Yeah, what does that mean? What do you mean by that? <laughs> Enjoy. Larry David and Jerry Seinfeld developed the American comedic television series. It ran on NBC for nine seasons and 180 episodes from July 5, 1989 to May 14, 1998. It stars Seinfeld as a fictionalized version of himself and centers on his personal life with three of his friends, George Costanza, Jason Alexander, former lover Elaine, Julia Louise Dreyfus, and Cosmo Kramer, his neighbor across the hall, Michael Richards. It is largely set in a department building on Manhattan's Upper West Side. Do you agree with the items on our list? What is the funniest TV program of all time, in your opinion? Subscribe to us for more Top 10s released every day.